Sunday of Ordinary Time. Please rise as we begin the Mass. Gather your people, O oh Lord. Gather your people, O oh Lord. One breath, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O oh Lord. Draw table of life, brothers and sisters, each of us call to walk in your light. Gather your people, O oh Lord, gather your people. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That was the intro for my greeting to you. <laughs> Peace be with you. <laughs> and with your spirit. Good evening to all of you. Good evening. Good evening. It's great to see all of you. We'll try to make this uh, uh, mass as comfortable and as uh, and the least harmful to you, considering, you know, all of the ashes that are falling from the sky. <laughs> And uh, we ask the Lord for special blessings upon us at this time and for allowing us to be able to gather like this to give him thanks and praise. Now let us prepare ourselves for this Mass by calling to mind what sinners we are and by asking God for his mercy and grace. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the peoples into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to nourish us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You protect us from all harm and heal us of our illnesses. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, there. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you 
Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days. Set enmity aside. Remember death and decay and cease from sin. Think of the commandments, hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. and merciful, slow to anger, full of kindness. God is good to all creation, full of compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. The
of God is from age to age, blessing those who choose to love, and justice towards God's children, on all who keep the covenant. The Lord is kind and the Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger, rich in kindness. The Lord is kind and A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be like to a king who decides to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants 
who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started choking him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servants put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. <coughs> his master surmounted him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me. Should not you have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good evening. Good evening once again to all of you. I can't hear myself, but I hope you can hear me. You can hear me, right? Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> well, and uh, so... Uh, this is probably uh, one of my favorites, if not my favorite passage in the scripture, because it talks about forgiveness. And uh, if you're anything like me, uh, you probably feel that you've offended God, you know, uh, more than you should have, and that you do it constantly, and that you need forgiveness. I feel that, you know, I, I, uh, on, a regular, on a regular basis. Uh, and, you know, I just have to put a plug in here. That's why I go to confession on a regular basis. I, I do go to my spiritual director every month, and so every month I'm able to, uh, to make my confession, and it's very, very good uh, to do that because we do need uh, forgiveness. There's so much uh, need for forgiveness for uh, all of us, uh, especially since we are probably uh, at the, uh, not only at the receiving end of many offenses, but we uh, offend God by hurting uh, other people as well. Now, you know, I... Uh, uh, this past week, I had the opportunity to attend a, uh, um, a uh, uh, how do I say this, kind of a, a meeting where three African Americans uh, who, as we know, are figuring very prominently in our news right now because of what's going on uh, in the country. Uh, and and uh, so this, this African Americans uh, share their story because uh, the the uh, the bishops who were at that particular conversation wanted to get a a, a sense uh, a very accurate sense of where we are right now uh, as far as racism is concerned. You know what I mean? Because racism racism is around us, okay? And basically, the racism is uh, uh, us uh, thinking ourselves uh, to be uh, to, to 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 be superior, to be better. Uh, to be better, uh, better than be better than others, okay. Even though uh, we really need to consider ourselves as equal, because we're all children of God. And so, I had the chance to listen to the stories of three uh, African Americans who had to who had to endure uh, racism and, and really uh, discriminatory, uh, very very discriminatory behaviors on the part of people around them as they were growing up. Uh, uh, and even up to now, uh, who uh, uh, are, and they're holding uh, responsible positions in the in the dioceses in which they work. Now, the f the first one, so three of them, uh, Chinere, uh, I, I'm making up these names, okay, so I was not to identify the people. So there's Chinere, and then there's Immaculate, and there's Father Kaikara. Now, Chinere, uh, I, uh, I, 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 her family uh, moved from another part of the country uh, to uh, somewhere here uh, on the west coast uh, uh, to a city, to a parish in a city uh, where they happened uh, to be the only black family in the entire, in the entire um, parish, okay? The only black uh, family in the entire parish. And then she went to, that, uh, to the Catholic school of that parish 
Uh, and, uh, you know, from the moment they arrived at that parish, they already felt um, that uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the discrimination uh, uh, towards them and the, the unfriendliness of people towards them. Uh, there were not too many ki kids different from her uh, who wanted to be friends with her. And like I told you, they were the only African-American family uh, in that particular parish. And so she was the only African-American um, student in that, uh, in that, is, in, in that is entire school. And uh, she definitely, you know, as a child growing up, felt uh, that uh, she was not uh, uh, embraced uh, by, th by the community. And even in the classroom, she said that when she, she was called upon and gave the correct answer, you know, her teachers, yes, her teachers would not immediately uh, acknowledge uh, the, the correct answer that she gave, but would call on another, another student, okay? And when they, that the student uh, said, I, I gave the correct answer or repeated the answer that she gave, then that student would, would be acknowledged and then she would be acknowledged. And so as a child, she, she saw all of this happening, uh, happening, happening around her. But then she said, the, you know, the, 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 uh, uh, the experience, the first experience that she had, and they were new in the parish at this time, that uh, made her feel that, uh, you know, she was being treated very differently was when she first uh, went uh, maybe not first, but she went to confession one time. So there was a line, okay? And in this parish, like I said, they were the only African-American uh, African American, uh, family. I don't know uh, what other, uh, I, uh, uh, how do I say this? Uh, people of other races, uh, colored people are there, but not African-American, not black in, in other words. Uh, she was the only black uh, person in line uh, for confession. And she said that uh, a new priest you know, approached her while she was in line and asked her, what are you doing here? You know, this is the line for confession. He couldn't guess that. <laughs> this is the line for confession. But anyway, she did not really tell us exactly how that particular story turned out, but she started crying as she was telling us uh, that story. And so and then there's Immaculate, and Immaculate, a bright, bright uh, lady, okay, and uh, with, you know, uh, well, very ordinary, she looked very ordinary, and, uh, but you know, uh, she was sharing with us that uh, as, as uh, uh, a resident of, particular, of a particular community in the place uh, on the west coast where she lived, she was stopped by cops several times, okay, because she was driving a nice expensive car. But this lady was the chief financial officer of her company. But she would be stopped by, 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 by cops and would be asked, you know, like uh, she, as if she were a criminal. And they, they would not immediately believe her. Well, I'm in this neighborhood because I live here, you know, and I'm on my way to a friend because we're having dinner in his or her house. You know what I mean? But she would, she would be asked um, the same thing, you know, as she was, as she was uh, telling us uh, her story. She broke down and cried. I, I just felt uh, so, so bad for her. This lady achieved so much uh, in her life, you know, despite uh, what she had to go through, uh, the discrimination that she went through, and she continued to be uh, treated like this, and then she cried as she was telling us this story. And then there, there was Father uh, Kaikara, like I was telling you, and you know, Father Kaikara, he, was already, he is already in his 60s, he was refused admission to a seminary when he first applied, and he said, I knew God was calling me to a priest from a very young age. So it, when it was uh, okay for him to apply to a seminary. He applied to a seminary in the place where they, in the state where they were living, and uh, the uh, the uh, seminary uh, the seminary told him that uh, he, they could not that they could not accept them uh, accept him to the seminary because he would be the only black seminary in the seminary, and that would pose a difficulty. Okay, <laughs> you know I had nice, really, really great. Uh, uh, I had I had I had a black classmate, and there were a few uh, black seminarians uh, when I was in the seminary, Saint John Seminary. And you know, we, we kind of like uh, we. I guess it's, these are different times, because you know, I, I I entered the seminary about only about 30 years ago, and he entered the seminary uh, a, l a long time uh, longer than longer than that. But he he experienced this, and so because he really felt that he was being called by God to be a priest, he actually applied to a seminary in another state where he was accepted. But 
You know, yes, he was accepted, but he said, I only had four, pr four friends in the seminary because they really didn't want to associate with me, the people who were in the seminary, okay? And thank God for those uh, four seminarians that he uh, became friends with. They continue to be friends right now uh, uh, as, as a priest. But, you know, uh, the, the, these, uh, these people, you know, like Chiniere, she is now the director of, spiritual, of spirituality in the diocese where she works, okay? And, I, and uh, I, Macaulay, uh, she's now the director of Catholic Charities in the diocese where she works. And Father uh, Kaikara is a very, very well-recognized pastor in the parish, uh, where, in the diocese where, where he works, because of just the, the, the love uh, for the ministry and the love for God and for Jesus uh, that he, and as well as the, the two other ladies, have always displayed uh, throughout their lives. All of them shared that what they needed to do, despite all of these things that happened to them, the discriminatory behavior uh, and the, 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 uh, uh, the behavior of people around them that made them feel very bad, is to forgive. You know, so to hear that, to hear that from them and to hear that from, from people who have endured so much but are now really uh, doing tremendous work in the church is just absolutely, absolutely inspiring for me. You know, I'm a man of color also, and you know, I, 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 <laughs> I, I have experienced this, but not as ex uh, not as badly uh, as these three, uh, three people uh, have have experienced this uh, in in their lives. But you know, just uh, I'm I'm speaking about. Uh, racism right now and the way we treat people uh, 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 who are different from us uh, in a way that's not uh, just in, or in a way that uh, that would not really meet the approval uh, of, of, of our Lord we were asked to, to speak about this you're going to go in, you're going to hear from the bishops of the United States more and more about this okay over the next year next next starting next week you're gonna you're, you're you're going to start hearing for us because you know our uh, the the united states catholic conference of bishops uh, has issued uh, statements about racism and what we need to do uh, so so this is stops uh, in our society uh, for years but nothing seems to have changed to have changed to have changed much and the, the, the bishops feel that this time we really have to talk a little bit more strongly because we do have to recognize the fact that we are all children of God and in, because of that, we, we are all equal in God's eyes. Nothing is more special, or no one is more special uh, than the other. Now, the, the, uh, so, like I, I, I shared with you this, that the, what was so moving about the, uh, the testimony of these of this people that, uh, whose, whose uh, testimonies I heard uh, is how uh, it, it's their forgiveness that enabled them, it's their forgiveness of those who have wronged them that have enabled them to move forward and do such wonderful things in our church uh, right now. And so we really have to examine ourselves and see how we feel and how it is that we, we, we behave uh, towards people whose color is different than ours. Okay, doesn't have to be uh, someone who has a darker color, but some people actually uh, uh, do this also with, with, uh, with uh, people who, whose skin are fairer than theirs. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like it's all over the map, uh, the way uh, that, that racism manifests uh, itself uh, in our midst. But forgiveness is what the, the, uh, the, uh, the gospel of the day is, okay? And in, in forgiveness, uh, you know, there is this kind of, uh, uh, how do I say this? Uh, uh, there, there are actions that we do where uh, uh, justice is established because uh, two people who have offended each other, or maybe, uh, you know, one person has offended the other, they move to a place, you know, to, to, a, to a common ground where justice is established, okay? The, but that's not always possible. When I say justice is established, uh, uh, when, when we, we have been wronged and then uh, whatever wrong has been done to us has been re made, res uh, uh, restitution has been made, has been made for that wrong. But that doesn't happen all the time, right? 
but the 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 uh, when 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 that happens, when there is equal movement of, of, of um, a re the re for the reestablishment of justice in the relationship uh, between between two parties, that's nice. But that's not the kind of forgiveness that Jesus is talking about in the gospel today. I hope you realize that, right? That's not the kind of forgiveness that Jesus is talking about in the gospel today, and th that's not the kind of forgiveness that a lot of times uh, we. We, we, we come to the conclusion we have to do just like the three persons I gave you as an example. They decided at a certain point in their life that that's not the kind of forgiveness, you know, the, the equal reestablishment of justice between two, between two parties, that they, they actually what you have to do is say, well, okay, all right, I forgive and I will do, I will do my part, okay, to make this relationship and I decide to carry your burden. I will continue to I will continue to forgive 77 times. And you know why seven? I, I, is it 70 or 77? 77. 77? <laughs> you know seven. Uh, 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 and many of you know this, right? The number seven uh, represents fullness in Scripture. Well, 77. My God, that's full over full over full over full. In other words, you know, I, uh, when you say I continue to do it 77 times, that means you're never going to stop doing it. You know, I forgive, I will carry your burden, okay? You can't, uh, you can't um, uh, uh, make up for what you have done to me, all right? Well, it's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you anyway, okay? In, that, in other words, it's, it's, it, 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 it's us bearing that burden. Hard is that hard to do? Of course, that's very, very hard to do, you know? I, I know if I spend uh, a month just trying to think of all the people I have not forgiven, <laughs> I'll probably uh, spend uh, the rest of my life, you know, trying to forgive, uh, to, to forgive myself for not for, for not forgiving them. But what we are being called to do in the gospel here, as far as forgiving another, is to go the extra mile. Okay, even though the person has not completely made restitution for what it is that uh, he or she has done uh, to us that we think uh, needs to be uh, made restitution for. We say, okay, I, I forgive, okay, and I, I, move, I move on, I, I move on. You know, uh, because when we forgive, and I'm sure you've figured this out already, right? When we forgive, it is not, it, it is not uh, the person whom we, um, whom we are forgiving who uh, is principally uh, let off the hook. Uh, did I say that correctly? Yeah, it's not the person it's not really the person that we are trying to forgive or that we, that we have forgiven, I should say, uh, that we are letting off the hook. When we forgive someone, it's us that we are uh, letting off the hook. Because, you know, with, with unforgiveness, as long as we have not forgiven, it's going to fester inside and it is going to bother us and it's going to affect the way we live our lives. Does that make sense to you? So we do not... When we forgive someone, we are freeing ourselves from that which, will, which, which holds us bound. Does that make sense to you? And forgiving another person doesn't mean, mean that we're telling the person, okay, you know, I, I, uh, what you have done is, is okay. No, we're not, we're not saying that to the person. Forgiving is just freeing us from the burden of this feeling of, of anger or whatever other kinds of anger that we that that uh, we might be carrying inside because we have not forgiven you know just think about this a little bit more when we forgive we are freeing ourselves but that doesn't mean that the wrong that w that have been that has been done to us we are letting go or we're, we're saying that it's okay no like for example this racism that happened so these three people i'm talking to you about they were, they were invited especially because they continued to work towards uh, the end of racism in our country, even though they themselves were, you know, terribly, terribly uh, uh, affected and, and terribly suffered uh, from the sin of racism directed at them by other people. But they continued to because they know they need to, they need uh, this particular problem in our society needs to be fixed. So just think about that, okay? So when we forgive, we free ourselves so we can do what we need to do so that what, what, what happened to us can be taken care of, can be fixed, can end. 
Well, anyway, so the, the, uh, the, the gospel, uh, the first reading of the day, uh, this, this uh, quote or the, uh, from, from the passage from, from the book of Sirach, uh, says, forgive your neighbor's injustice. Then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. It's actually very similar to the prayer to the Our Father, to that part of the Our Father that, that, that tells us to forgive others, okay? Forgive us our trespasses. This is the Our Father. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So to the extent that we forgive others, God is going to forgive us. Or maybe we can say, to the extent that we forgive us, to, to the extent that we forgive others, we are going to feel God's forgiveness of us. And in the book of Sirach, Sirach says, forgive your neighbor's injustice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. So there is a connection. It is important for us to forgive because when we forgive, our own sins are forgiven. Uh, are forgiven. Uh, as well so that the our father is a wonderful prayer uh, it's a prayer that was taught to us by jesus himself and uh, we say that at every mass and whenever we say the our father you know our 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 uh, I, uh, plea to our lord is to help us to forgive others so that our sins will be forgiven as well And so, brothers and sisters, we now make our prayer for our community and for the whole world, praying to Christ the Lord for ourselves, our own needs, and the entire people. For reconciliation among all who are baptized into Christ, for collaboration among all churches in sharing his message of forgiveness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For peace and reconciliation among ancient enemies, especially in the Middle East. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For catechists and all who share the good news of God's reign, and for all who yearn to know of loving good God better, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the safety of all first responders and for the peace of mind of their loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For grandparents everywhere to know the love of their children and grandchildren and to be treated with respect and dignity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who are sick, for all who suffer from COVID-19, for all who have died, Consolation Banyong, Rosendo Banyong, Reinaldo Talud, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For the, the intentions of Effie, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all those who are, are affected by the fires, especially those who have lost their lives uh, because of it, um, the, fa the families who have lost uh, everything uh, and are now in need of uh, assistance, uh, and also all of the um, uh, firefighters uh, and every single person who is uh, helping to uh, stop uh, the fires that's all over our state right now. Um, for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Maria Luisa Rachelis, Luis Rachelis, 
Dennis Thomas, Reinaldo Talud. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, O Lord. Listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christians, let us love one another as we share the true living bread. Jesus is our God and our brother. With his flesh and blood we are fed. Everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life, God is love. We who break this bread are one body. We who share this cup are all one. Children of our Father in the heaven, keep our ears with God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons and formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you and in joy we, we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, Full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial and death, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but rather look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Of God. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. we proclaim your death as we share was scattered once as grain just as now it is gathered make your people one bread of life hope of a world Jesus Christ Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, 
so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, say good evening. Just a couple of announcements. So first, uh, let us uh, thank our regional bishop, Bishop Alex Eklan, for uh, celebrating the Mass with us. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you. Thank so, you know, you know, since we are new here in this uh, parish, and uh, I called him to g make our courtesy call, since I'm your pastor and the father all, and then he told me that instead of uh, us going to his uh, house or to his office, okay, I'll be the one who's going there. So we are, uh, <laughs> we are very grateful for your graciousness, uh, Bishop Alex. So thank you once again. And um, so from... Now on the gate will be open for um, for uh, to allow people to come in. Okay, so there's no need for reservation for the past uh, weeks. You've been uh, reser making reservations, RSVP or reg uh, registration. So now there's no need for that. Just come in. Okay, just come to church every Sunday weekend. The gate will be uh, open, and of course uh, we continue to follow these uh, protocols the social distancing at six feet and then sanitizing our hands and uh, um, so all these uh, protocols that uh, we need to uh, do. And then starting Tuesday, the mass, uh, the weekday mass will be at eight o'clock. It's no longer nine o'clock, but it will be at eight o'clock starting Tuesday. So that means tomorrow we still have it at nine o'clock. And on Tuesday, from Tuesday on, it will be at 8 o'clock a.m. And there will be a Saturday Mass. So we're bringing back a Saturday Mass. It's also at 8 o'clock. And uh, we're following the same schedule for the weekend celebration of the Masses. So uh, Saturday Mass, the Vigil Mass in Spanish is 6.30. And then 8.30, 10 o'clock a.m. and 6.30 p.m. in English. So we'll fo we are following that. And... Uh, of course, as uh, the season changes and time changes, we'll be making some adjustments later on. Okay? And um, once again, so please continue uh, supporting our parish uh, church, and uh, we need your constant support to us, and we thank you for your generosity. So you can continue giving your donations, your help online. So visit our website, so giving online, and then... Likewise, you can uh, bring your envelopes here, or you can mail them. Okay, so thank you for your generosity. And we thank our ministers today, our lector, Eucharistic minister, and cantor, and uh, Yanis. Okay, thank you very much. And our deacon. Okay, it's it, it's uh, been really a pleasure and a privilege uh, to be here to celebrate this, uh, this Mass uh, with you. Uh, and so uh, I... I uh, uh, I live by myself in the San Fernando, at, at my house uh, in the San Fernando Mission, so uh, I don't have a cook, and Father does, so I told him, no, don't come here, I'm going to go visit you. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, thank you very much for your hospitality. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve God, loving and serving one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. i
Blessed Sunday, everyone.